Welcome back to another clay video. Today, we are going to create this miniature scenery from the journey of the Prairie King from Stardew Valley. After last week's video of creating the Junimos, I was really excited to start creating something else from Stardew Valley. When I was creating the Junimo carts, I was thinking of the mini game, which made me think of the other arcade game, which is the journey of the Prairie King. This is another arcade game, I think only one of two that you can find in the bar on Stardew Valley, unless maybe later on in the game you unlock more, but if that's the case, I haven't gotten that far. We are going to take these three different sheets here, and these are going to be pretty thin. We're going to only bake these for five minutes, so they're still pretty soft. And now that we have our strips here, we can start cutting them up with scissors and this is going to be a little bit of an experiment. I've never created a sand effect of any kind with clay, but I saw a video where if you chop up these different clay pieces very finely, you can get a sand effect. Now my knife just wasn't doing it for me, it took way too long, so we're gonna take this coffee grinder here and grind them up. Ah, what a beautiful sound. That looks pretty good, it's pretty fine, so let's dump it out of here, and yeah, it's looking pretty nice, it looks like sand already. So let's take our sheet here, I have not baked this yet, this sandy layer. As you can see, I mapped out a little bit of a line where I want this to go. We can just sprinkle this all over the map, and after we're done, we'll just gently press it down. As you see, it's very messy, so the secret technique here is just going to be blowing it off. And that worked pretty good to get rid of all the excess around the path here. Along the four different entrances where the enemies come from here, the gravel is much heavier, much darker, so I decided to just lay down there pretty heavy. And now our arena is ready to get baked. And while that's baking, we'll start working on all of these cactuses and all of the different miniature details. If you're unfamiliar with the Journey of the Prairie King, it's basically a western-style cowboy top-down shooter game. And I've only played a few of these different games before with this style on Newgrounds, different Flash games. And those are pretty fun, but I've always been really bad at them. I guess it's just not my style of game. But I do keep trying to complete this game on Stardew Valley. It's just very challenging, maybe there's a certain strategy I don't know of. I think I've gotten pretty far through it, but not far enough to beat it yet. I'm guessing just like Junimo Kart, there's some type of reward for beating it, but I don't know what those are yet. I don't typically like to look things up for games, I like to just figure them out on my own. Let me know in the comments though if you guys have completed this game, but don't let me know what the reward is. This is going to be our miniature cowboy here. I think this was a pretty awesome creation to make, especially since we're going from pixel art creation. I mentioned this in the Junimos, but it's sort of hard, but also fun to create something from pixel art into you know, not pixel art, because you sort of have to interpret what the different details would look like. We have to create so many more details than you would in a pixel art creation. I just love this cowboy hat here. Now we have his little arms here, or I guess they're just hands. Let's take some bright silver shiny clay, and this will be for his handgun, his pistol. This is a pretty necessary item for a cowboy. In the game you can get different upgrades like a shotgun, or this one, I don't know what you would call it, but bullets shoot around you in a circle everywhere, it's pretty awesome, and pretty helpful. These are going to be our five enemies. In the game I think they're called either goblins or orcs. I think those might actually both be different enemies in the game, I have no idea which one this one is. I just saw a picture on the Wikipedia and I just briefly looked at the names. We have some red here for the eyes. This is a pretty easy but pretty nice technique um, to create eyes, we just have to roll out this worm of clay. And then all of the eyes end up being the exact same size, as long as you don't cut them longer than the other ones. Here we have the silver clay for the wrapping. And a much darker silver clay, I just mixed silver with some black for the top of his helmet or his hat. I'm not quite sure what these are. Now we have some little peas for his hands. And these guys don't actually have weapons, they just run at you and try to attack you. Until I looked at the Wikipedia and saw that they were called orcs or goblins, I always thought they were zombies, but I guess they're not. 
And now, we have our little ammo, and we are ready to get bait. Ah, what a beautiful sound. After baking, let's take this Sharpie marker, and this will be for all of our markings on the cactuses. I originally thought to make all of the different spikes with clay, and then I realized how many cactuses there were and how much of a daunting project that was, so we're just going to use this marker here, and that's going to make things a lot easier and a lot quicker to create these. And our final cactus here. Here is all the cactuses I created. I probably should have counted how many I was going to need, but luckily it turned out I actually had one extra cactus. So we can take our trusty super glue. We use this in basically every creation. It's kind of rare if we don't use this actually. And I'm putting all the cactuses first around the entrances, then by the sides of those, just making sure that I have enough to make it look like an even square going around the whole thing. And now some cactuses up in the corners here. And our final cactus. Looking pretty nice so far, so let's take these logs for barricades. I guess I didn't mention earlier, but these are logs. This is a pretty cool technique, I've never done this before, but I've seen it in a couple different clay videos before, of getting the inner part of the log. And I think that it worked out pretty nicely. I think you could also use this for maybe different eyes, like to have the iris inside of the eye, but that seems a little bit too complicated for me. Now we'll have our zombies, or goblins, or orcs, whatever they are called. We'll start placing those kind of randomly all over the map. These guys are always trying to attack you and you have to fend them off with your pistol. And now we will have the hero, the cowboy. I'm not really sure if he's a hero, I don't really know the story to this game. He just likes to shoot these little goblins for fun. Here's the ammo. And here it is guys, the journey of the Prairie King from Stardew Valley. I hope you all enjoyed this awesome creation from the journey of the Prairie King. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to see some more Stardew Valley, you can see the Junimos up here. And I will see you all in the next one.